What's going on guys, it's your boy Adam, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the super dope ghosting effect. No plugins needed. Everything that I'm gonna be doing is inside Premiere Pro, and you can do this exact same technique in your own editor if it's Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas, all those kind of editors. But if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We've got new videos every week. Let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, dope guys, we're back in the editor. What I'm gonna show you is the super dope ghosting effect and also um, effects that you can add on top of this. So what I have here today is a clip from a concert recap. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. So I just got my boy um, going crazy on the stage. And then, so what you wanna do for the ghosting effect is all you wanna do is duplicate your clip. So now we have two of them. So to duplicate it, you hold Option or, or Alt, and then you'll just drag up the clip. So then you wanna go to your second clip and then just go to Opacity and then click 30. So now, it'll be 30, it'd be at 30% capacity. And then the next thing you wanna do is um, just offset your clip just a little bit. And then we're just gonna play that back and see what that looks like. So dope, you get a cool ghosting effect. So if you like that, you can go ahead and stay with that. But um, what I like to do is I like to make it a little bit smoother. So I'll have it fade in so it's not so hard. So it just fades in exactly like a ghosting effect would. So dope 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 so what you can also do to make this even cooler is that you can actually uh time manipulate it and slow it down or speed it up but what i want to do is i want to slow it down you just want to set it to 60 set the speed to 60. so let's go ahead and play that back so now as you can see it looks a little bit cooler uh, more of like a trippy ghost but anyways what i like to do is I like to add something on top of that so what i'll go ahead and do is add the color balance hls effect to it and we're going to go ahead and drag it on top of the top clip perfect so what i want to do now is i want to set some keyframe parameters so what i want to do is go to hue um, press the um, timer the stopwatch uh, um, icon and we're just going to drag it all the way to the front then what we're going to do is we're going to um, make another keyframe but we're going to grab um, the hue slider and we're going to drag it all the way to the right to get about um, four times or whatever and then we're gonna drag this keyframe to the end of the clip and then as you could see uh, the ghost is like cycling through colors and whatnot super cool dope trippy effect I'm uh, I'll play that back for you I'll go ahead and render it and then play it back okay dope so we're back so let's go ahead and check that out what it looks like at um, full speed so as you can see it's cycling through the colors like a real cool dope trippy effect um, and there's also more that you can add on to this. So um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is go to the effects panel and then we're gonna type in Gaussian blur. So we, what you can go ahead and do is just drag it on top of the top clip and we're gonna go ahead and click repeat edge pixels and then we're just gonna set this blurriness to 20. And as you can see, it softens uh, our, our guy, it softens the ghosting effect and makes it look even cooler. So we'll go ahead and Render that and I'll show you what that looks like at full speed. All right, so we're back. So let's go ahead and check this out with now adding the blur. Super cool. So now you can see like the ghost is a little bit softer. Um, looks pretty cool like that. There's uh, no like real edges. And yeah, it's just a super cool effect. Um, so if you want to go ahead and do that, that is up for you. That is up for grabs. Go ahead and do that. And then I have one more effect to show you. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just delete these two effects. Um, keeping the speed the same and keeping the offset the same. So now what we're going to do, go ahead and do is go to the effects panel one more time and we're going to go ahead and grab arithmetic. So you just drag that on top of the top clip once again and then you want to set this uh, operator to max and then whatever color you are feeling I'm going to go ahead and do red. You're going to go ahead and drag the slider all the way to 255 and as you can see it makes a cool uh, red separation and also you can combine colors so you can do blue and red and you're going to go ahead and max out blue and now you have a purple effect so it's super dope i'm going to go ahead and render this and we'll be right back all right dope so we're back so let's go ahead and check out the purple ghost effect so as you can see super cool ghosting effect it's purple um you can also mess around with it and you can get green yellow blue all that stuff but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It was super simple to do, super easy to do, and super quick. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm dropping new videos every week. 
And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.